Hello everybody, uh, today I want to show you how to uh, record the stereo mix in Windows when you basically don't have a stereo mix. This is the situation that many of you will probably have. We have uh, just speakers and no possibility to uh, record the stereo mix even if we show the disabled devices. On the other hand we have this nice new software by DDMF that shows four virtual streams here, I've already installed them. What you first have to do is set one of the streams as the default uh, device. So now everything that uh, is played by Windows audio-wise will go through this uh, virtual uh, device. Now let's have a look what we can do with that. Uh, load up a YouTube video of your choice and press play. Now uh, what you will hear is that you won't hear anything <laughs> because the device that is now uh, the default audio device is a purely virtual one so it's just a cable going nowhere so it has to be rooted into something for instance into audacity which is a recording software now we have to root this uh, stream that we chose for system output as the recording device in audacity we have to choose the stereo channels of course and software playthrough should be clicked so that we can actually hear something um, but for playback device we choose our ordinary speakers which in this case are the real tech uh, speakers now we start recording and now we actually also hear the sound that is being played back by the youtube video and at the same time you can see that the levels are uh, all fine in the upper right corner and that the audacity software is recording well just as expected so now you can go on and uh, finish the song if you want to i just press, yeah, press stop here because it's just a proof of principle basically and then you can uh, skip back in audacity and listen to what you just recorded and you're gonna hear that it's exactly an exact copy of uh, the, the playback of the youtube video so that's very nice so, but keep in mind that if you don't root uh, the virtual audio screen into something that can record anything or into uh, something that can actually Route it into your normal speakers, you will not hear anything. It's just a cable that's otherwise dangling in in, uh, in nowhere land, so to speak. So you always have to connect it in the end to your normal speakers.